Hello everyone, Toby from AbletonDrama.com here. I want to show you how you can set up live looping and use your first loop to set the global tempo in your Ableton Live set. Okay, so just a short intro. I developed a Max for Live device um, which is called the One Button Live Looper. It has many advantages over the native Ableton looper which comes included as an audio effect. So my looper lets you control clips. So you can loop MIDI, you can loop audio, you can record every layer single uh, individually and, and edit those um, afterwards in your arrangement view. So there are a few more advantages um, as you get some great visual feedback. For example, you get this big uh, pop-up window, you can change the size for it. And there are a few mapping things as well, which make this uh, one button live looper max for live device a little bit more exciting. If you're looping this way, I am for Ableton Live. So this is a Max for Live device. Link is in the video description. Below you will need Max for Live for that, which is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live Standard. Okay, so looping in Ableton Live, um, if you want to set the tempo via your first loop, you have to use the um, Ableton Looper uh, audio effect, which is sitting on this track here for your first loop. There is no other way around here. You could tap in the tempo, but then you would tap in the tempo and then record. But if you want to just go and record the first layer and have this set your global tempo, you need to use the Ableton Live looper, which is included in the stock Ableton Live library for your first loop. So let me show you how I would set this up um, in conjunction with my one button live looper. So first of all, my one button live looper is controlled via direct MIDI notes coming from this controller going directly into this track. So for example, I can set up this um, rack and replay button if I switch that on and then press S and this looper is sitting on this track here and Xtouch Mini, which is this controller, is sending MIDI notes and for example, if I want to map this rack um, and reloop button here via this button, I just press S, I turn it on, I press S for syncing and now if I press it, it's detecting which uh, which MIDI note pitch is coming in and it's ma mapping this directly. So there are a few advantages of using this technique instead of using the native MIDI mapping here. Um, but uh, just so you know, it's really quick and easy to set up this way. And now if I press this button, you can see the one button live looper is recording and replaying. And I have even set up the, oh, this one, no. I have set up this one here for play and this one for undo and for clear as well. Okay, stop the metronome here. Okay, so now if we say, okay, let's use the Ableton looper here for the first loop, we need to set, up, set it up in a certain way. So first of all, I set up the MIDI mapping um, rack and replay to this button here. So I go into the MIDI map menu and select this button and then I press the button on my MIDI controller so this is synced here. So just that you can see if I leave the MIDI map menu and press this button here, this thing now is recording and let's clear this for now. So um, what sounds am I using here? I'm just using the first track playing my keyboard. Uh, this is MIDI going into this first track where I got um, this piano sound from Ableton Live on here and then I'm routing this piano sound. Um, I'm just grabbing the audio from here on all the different looping tracks I'm using. Okay, so let's set up the first um, loop here to, to uh, determine the max tempo or the global tempo, not the max tempo, the global tempo in Ableton Live here. So I just have to think about um, the tempo, then hit record 
Um, on my first one, um, I've set this to, let's set this to two bars so it's a little bit more easier to think about it. Then I'm gonna play for two bars and then I have to count in my head and then have to press rec play or um, play again um, on the uh, this button here below, which is MIDI map to this button on my controller. And this way I will tell Ableton live those are my two bars and please stretch those bars and take those bars as um, and, and calculate the global tempo or the BPM out of it and set the global tempo. So I need to make sure, um, so for example, I set the, to, to set, set up the looper right. So I set the quantization to none. Um, start song, I want, um, when I'm looping, I want the song to start. And I want to, and this is really important, set and follow song tempo. So I want to have this looper setting, the song tempo setting the BPM. Okay, so let's um, give this a try and I will keep the metronome clicking on. So when I'm hitting this once, it will record, but the uh, metronome will not run, the song is not running. It will start running when I hit it again, when I'm ready with looping. Okay, so do I have everything set up here? Yes, fine, okay. So I think about this, one, two, in my head, three, four, one, three, four, three, four, And I need to make sure that I don't press this button too long. Uh, one problem here from communicating between the looper and the MIDI. Let's do this once more. One, two, three, four. Three, four. And you can hear and you were able to see the tempo here is being set and calculated from the from this loop I just recorded. Okay, and I then afterwards can set up different stuff. So if I decide on the gig or in my performance or uh, on my video performance or streaming, whatever, I want to play it a little bit in a different tempo, I can just do that and the tempo will be set automatically. So if I'm da 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 da, let's go a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Four. And you can see and you can hear the tempo is adjusting and now I could just overdub with my one button live looper which is set to start on the next one. Three, four. and so on and so forth. So this is one example on how to set this up and I hope you got a picture um, how you can and you have, I don't know any other solution for setting the time, the BPM via uh, your first loop or via the first loop you are recording. It's only possible via the Ableton Looper to my knowledge so far, but the Ableton Looper comes with a lot of limitations. So you can just layer stuff in one looper, but you are not able to separate those loops afterwards. You can't edit those loops single uh, individually. So if you played a little mistake um, during your live performance, which is maybe fine for your live performance, but if you want to release this stuff later on um, and you want to edit stuff, it's not possible because it's all one audio file. Same as well for MIDI, you aren't able to uh, loop MIDI, you always need to send audio to the Ableton Looper. So for this, if you are excited about uh, expanding those possibilities, have a look on my One Button Live Looper. Again, it's a Max for Live device. Max for Live is needed to make use of this device slash plugin. So if you want to check it out, have a look. There are um, a lot of links and a lot of 
resources about this on YouTube and on the internet. Um, it comes with a template and a with live set, which is going to help you getting started as well. Bye bye.